Hello, this is Charlie Zorro, and welcome to the first episode in the adventures of Lita Alexander. Lita has recently left the hobbits of Oakbrotten and traveled north to the glassblower's camp near Dwalin in Evendim. She's just discovered that there are tomb raiders, or tomb robbers, that are occupying Dwalin and they basically have kicked the poor hobbits out. So she's going to attempt to aid them in getting their village back. So let's take Could a look take and a see what we can time. do. Okay, so we need to collect the satchel of glass blowing tools. Might I speak with you a moment? Uh, he wants us to examine a corpse of a spider. Although not many know this, I heard about that business down south of here with the goblins. They're up to no good around these parts. Okay, well that could be interesting. She could she could take on some of the goblins. Could I take a moment of your time? And let's see, it looks like there's a dog missing, and so this this hobbit would like us to find the dog lead. So we could look at doing that. And See, oh, there's something over here. How can we help you? Hello. Might I speak with you a moment? Collect white sand. So they need white sand for their glass. So we could certainly do that for them. All right, and just to make sure. Okay, day? our armor's repaired. Well, I tell you what, the first thing let's do is let's go down and try to find their tools. Uh, and here's the brigands. It's been a while since I played Lita, so it's going to take me a bit to get back into the whole gambit thing. Because Lita is a is a warden, uh, and as a warden, her main attack deals with gambits. And I'll explain gambits as soon as I'm out of battle. Okay, a gambit is basically a, a means of fighting. It's, a, it's part of your combat, and based on how you attack, your gambit basically builds up. It's kind of difficult to explain, to be perfect, Landis. I'm not real sure myself. I just play it. Uh, for example, this would be a quick thrust. Basically what I do is I just push buttons and when all of my uh, all of my gambits are filled I click whatever it is that is available. Now I know that there's a way of actually being able to determine how you, you know how you can build your gambits. Um, I've not been able to do that. But I do enjoy the character class. So I'm just I guess I, I'm just not that big a pro at it, so... There are three main attacks though. There's the scream, there's the shield bash, and then there's the fist. Actually there's four because there's also the javelin. So the 
the warden does have a ranged attack. Let's take on the captain here. Now, one thing too is if you wait too long, your gambit goes away. So we have the fist. We can do two fists. So if we do two fists, you'll notice in the gambit that it's bringing up spears. And if we do shield, it's bringing up our shield strike. And then if we scream, it brings up goad or goad. And then as you do a combination, it brings other types brings up other types of gambits. get very frustrated now trying to figure out how to build your gambit. And because of that a lot of my friends don't really care for this character class. Um, but I kind of enjoy it. I mean it takes a while to get used to and like I say I'm not very good at explaining it at all. But, um, but it can be a lot of fun. Okay what since we're going to be doing a lot of running around I'm going to take a speed boost. Now the idea is to let your gambit build all the way up. That way you get the best attack. My problem is I have not figured out the sequence to do the attacks to get the type of gambit that I want. Okay, I tell you what, let's head back up and Whoops, cash this one in. Give the uh, the satchel tools back to the hobbit. How rude. Well, that's kind of my thought. How rude of you. Could I take a moment of your time? Okay. Ensure Perlina Gamgee's home is safe. Alright, we can certainly look at doing that. Ooh, a deed completed. Okay. Alright. First thing is, even though we didn't do a whole lot of combat, I do want to repair my armor. Alright, let's go down and see if her house is safe. Darn it, I keep hitting the escape too many times. And this is Dwarlin. Dwarlin. That's how you pronounce it. It 
It's actually kind of a neat little village, you know, dwelling. Especially at night. Since I'm not that familiar with it, I certainly don't get fancy with it. Cool. That's very cool. And I'm going to take a Dale Cram real quick and kind of buff up. Okay, we found Ms. Gamgee's property. Uh, take out the launcher. Okay, so now we just need to go back and talk to the Hobbit again. Deadly with her javelin, which is kind of kind of cool. Not as deadly as a hunter, but still. Speaking of hunters. Cool! Defeated... good. But 
a justice that may help her. Maybe we'll have to look later. Right now I'm more interested in getting back up to the hobbits. One thing I have a bad habit of is triggering my uh, my gamble prematurely. And one thing too, if you don't use the gambit soon, it goes away. This is nice. I haven't played Lita in several months, so this is a lot of fun. Hope you're enjoying it. Even though I have to admit she's not doing a whole lot other than just fighting. Ah, a stalker, huh? It has. Might I speak with you a moment? Retrieve the formal complaint from Donald Dwell. Okay. And he's right here. Just a moment. Ring the doorbell and deliver deliver the letter. Okay. And the formal complaint is that they want their their settlement back. They want the brigands to go away, which I can understand. And I believe that it's right over there. Yep. Yes, the doorbell is right here, but before we ring it, I want to clear these guys out of the way so they can come and help whoever happens to aim to the door. Oh, don't step on the fire! This is why I wanted to clear the air. Okay, now it should be safe to go ahead and open the door, but I want her to recover a bit. And we're going to prepare for battle. That'll give us a little bit of a boost. Loto doesn't know what... something. Not going with a fight, huh? Okay. Yeah, I kind of figured we have to fight this guy. Real 
will toughen. Oh no you don't. This down with him, he'll be well often. That, and he ran away. Alright, so now we gotta go talk to Hob Wilbro, who was the hobbit who sent us down here in the first place. Oh, there he is. This is a neat ability that I forgot she had. Very similar to the burglar stealth, uh, stealth mode and also the hobbit. And the elf for that matter. Some folk. Okay, so now let's see. Bob Green Eaves has a spare key to the big hole. It's a public building, and even if they own the whole town, they haven't the right to close up a public hole. You march right down there and make sure he reads every word of that letter. Talk to Bob Evergreens, or I'm sorry, Green Leaves. Here when you are ready to go down into the big hole. Alright, well I tell you what, let's just go down and complete this formal complaint. An attempt to lodge a formal complaint on behalf of the glassblower Hob Hillbrow led to a violent encounter with the chief's men. The time has come to put the ruffians in their place. I must admit I do like her outfit. Sorry. <laughs> All right. I guess they're expecting me to be over here. There are new rules here in Dwalin. Okay. Ah! Nope. 
You guys are about to find out how much she cares about your new rules. Interesting. Oh, great mice, rats. First problem is you have to kill all of them before you can go to the next level. Well, the ominous, I should say. Of course, these are diseased rats, so I guess technically we're putting them out of their misery. Oh, you're not a rat? Well, yeah, in a way you are. to be rather mild and meek and friendly. Although I guess they can be vicious if they want to be, or if they're not treated right. Now one of the ideas of a warden is you're supposed to be able to think several steps ahead of as far as battle and combat and stuff like that. I've never been good at that. I play a really horrible game of chess. And I guess maybe that the Warden isn't the best character for me. I just really enjoy playing Lita. Muffin again. Turn tail and ran last time we met. I don't plan on giving you that chance this time. No, you don't. Well, I have to admit that is a pretty up, pretty awesome looking weapon he has.
damn, he's running away again. Oh, so you're just the right-hand person, huh? Well, I was hoping to be able to do that, but I guess if you really want to do it... Alright, let's take out the flunkies. Now just to show you how stupid they are, if they did them, if all four attacked at the same time, they might actually have a chance of defeating them. Take this guy out. I love watching her do the boot. Oh, that was easy. And the complaint has been resolved. Yes, I should think so. Okay, let's head back. I don't think that there's any treasure here. No. And there he is. Okay. It's been a foul day, it has. All right, let's see what we've got here. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to pause the video real quick while I pick one of these items, and I will be right back. Okay, I went ahead and chose the dagger, and now let's Might see I what is next. Talk to a ranger at the Colossus in Evendim. All right, but I am going to take that off my tracker for right now. Okay, I believe this is where we're going to pause the video. And in our next episode, we will go ahead and try to find the corpse of the spider, the dogs, the small dog's lead, and we're going to collect some white sand for them. So we'll try to give them a hand and see what we can do. So I certainly hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, safe journeys and take care.